I think when it comes to what's best for wrangling the devices, it's an interesting question because actually voice is the most natural interface to all the devices which you will find in a sort of connected home. Uh, there's a something called If This Then That, I-F-T-T-T, -T -T, and uh, If This Then That is a great bridge that brings the devices together. So you go to the website, it asks you what device you're talking to, so that could be an Alexa or a Google Home or a HomePod, for example, and then it asks you what manufacturing equipment you want to link to it, so I might want to put my my Siemens coffee machine uh, linked to my Alexa. If this and that is the bridge which links them together and it links all the different smart devices and you enter the commands, I've made sure you have to say please in the London home that we've built for Unruly. If you don't say please, you ain't getting your coffee. So we've made it so that you can choose your voice speaker, choose the appliance, choose the phrase and everything happens and you can group them together. So for example, in the home that I've created in London for Unruly, the Unruly Future Home, you walk in, you say, turn on welcome home. The curtains open, the lights go on, the coffee starts brewing, the Motown music starts playing on the stereo, everything's good and uh, so you can also do groups. That's the bridge. In terms of the butler, well that's a really interesting question because I will, I'm saying to everybody, routine has gone, okay? Well it's going to be going and very soon. Our Alexas, our Google Homes, all these uh, personal assistants, well, one of the things I always say is, if the 50s was about labor saving, visible technology like your dishwasher or your washing machine, future tech is about invisible assistance. And a butler is very much a way of sort of almost describing that. So when it comes to shopping, while I'm having this conversation with you and doing this interview, my Alexa could be at home doing the shopping for me. And when it does the shop, it talks to all my other AIs, okay? So Haley, for example, is my fitness app on Fitwell. And it's gonna to say to Haley, Haley, you're Simon's fitness app, what should we get him this week for his food? You know, what sort of healthy stuff does he need to reach his goals? Then it's gonna to talk to my fridge cam made by Smarter. My fridge cam knows what I've used in my fridge, knows what I need to top up. So Alexa's gonna say, fridge cam, what's he running out of? And then there's Whisk. Whisk is, let's say this, Whisk will do for food and brands what Spotify has done for music and bands, okay? Whisk is the Spotify of food. And so my Alexa's gonna say to Whisk, Whisk, what should we get for Simon this week? And Whisk is gonna say to Alexa, well, Simon's been listening to a lot of Brazilian music lately. He seems in a bit of a Brazilian mood. Let's get some Brazilian dishes. And so it's gonna add that to the basket. And when I get home and I open up my baskets, I'm gonna be saying to my AIs, what have we got this week, guys? And it's gonna say, we've got these dishes, here's videos on how to cook them, and we can even set your connected kitchen appliances to the perfect temperature to cook them perfectly. So they're all a butler. It just depends on which way you look at it.